Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so I asked you guys what kind of uh, team builds and stuff like that you wanted to see me run the new Goku on and uh, one thing somebody did ask for was a Majin Buu Saga team uh, with Majin Vegeta because obviously once Goku transforms into a Super Saiyan 3 they're going to share over in a flash as well as a few other links. So we are running the Margin Vegeta led Margin Buu Saga team because he gives 170 across the board. Um, obviously the only units on the team that are going to get the 200% leader skill are the two Margin Vegetas and the um, STR Goten and Trunks who I did rainbow from this dual Dokkan fest. I think I only pulled two copies of them from Margin Vegeta's banner. So, And then I figured for the opposite rotation let's just run a good old classic and run the uh, STR Goku and Vegeta and the Int Goku and Vegeta. So uh, I did give my Goten and Trunks quite a lot of extra dodge. Because obviously they need to dodge a bunch in order to get fully built up. So I figured I might as well do that. And so if we can get some dodges early on like this. Then uh, we are going to be looking good for them later on. So 3.7 million for Goku. Few links active on this turn. Decent support. So uh, we will have a Margin Vegeta with him on the next turn. We get the double super, so he jumps up to 3.9. Because um, obviously on Global, Goku does not have a 200% leader skill team yet. So uh, very impressive. And then look at that, we get the triple super attack turn. That's thanks to the uh, hidden potential, because Goku only gets the one guaranteed additional attack in the Super Saiyan 2 form. So starting off strong there for Goku. And then we get the uh, intro animation for Margin Vegeta. I thought I'd leave it on because we haven't used him in a video for a while. So. Come on, Dad. You're, you're embarrassing me. Yeah. It's such a good animation, man. I mean, Margin Vegeta might be a little bit wonky in his design, but I still love the unit. I think he's super good. So. Perfect setup here. I guess we are just going to end up having one of the Margin Vegeta's floating. Because uh, we're going to have these two on rotation together. So we'll go ahead and do this. I should have saved orbs for Margin Vegeta really. So the only problem with running him as the leader for this team. Is that for this other rotation. Like he's not going to link up well. Um, actually I should have done. I guess I should have done the uh, LR Goku and Vegeta as one of the other leads. Right with the Margin Buu Saga leader skill. And then just brought like an extra support unit or something. But, oh well, it is what it is. So, uh, I would al I would almost be tempted to restart. But we had such a great first turn <laughs> with that Goku. As well as Goten and Trunks getting a bunch of dodges in slot 1. So, I think we'll uh, we'll press on regardless. And the uh, it's just going to be a case that the friend, um, or the floating Margin Vegeta I should say, is not going to look particularly impressive. So, unfortunately, until Goku transforms, we are going to have this issue where Ki could be a problem. Because Goten and Trunks aren't a support unit. Um, the only support unit we have on the team is the physical Gohan. So, obviously, we're hoping that Goku can come in clutch with his additionals in these early turns. But that is the only downside, of course, to trying to run Goku alongside and over in a Flash unit is until they transform, he's obviously not going to be getting that extra key. Now, Goku himself does give himself extra key in his passive, so we just got very unlucky that we couldn't pick up uh, enough key for him there, just due to the orb field. But we uh, should be able to transform. I need to make sure we start taking some damage like early on, so I think we'll put you in slot 1 here, because they uh, don't have any damage reduction. Because obviously, remember, on Global, we don't have the easy A for um, Goku and Vegeta, the Int one. It's both the three-year LRs. So they're still decent, but that's actually exactly what I wanted. I was going to say, if they get super attacked here, especially at the start, because this Goku lowers defense, normal attacks, they tank for double digits. Obviously, that one, they took a little bit extra because he just lowered their defense. But now, that puts us into the situation where we can just go ahead and transform Goku on the next turn. Now, I have spoken about this in the previous videos that we've done with Goku, where in some of these longer form events, sometimes it does feel like you don't want to transform straight away because, obviously, you're only getting six turns of him with the full-on extra attack bonus and 70% chance to crit. So, maybe we will 
uh, keep him untransformed. It kind of depends. We're under the uh, HP restriction. The friend margin for Vegeta is rainbow. So if we go ahead and do these, all these blues should connect, right? So we're going to get the... Uh, I should have transformed first, shouldn't I? I was going to say, because I can still decide whether I want to transform afterwards. But we got so much HP back. I guess that's the only problem with... Uh, the orb changing for Margin Vegeta, we picked up a lot of extra HP from picking up those same type orbs. But, like I said, ideally I would rather transform Goku a bit later on so we can get more turns of that attack buff. Um, ideally, I guess we could transform him when we get to the uh, Ozaru, because then he's going to start being able to put out a pretty decent amount of damage. But the next phase is physical, so we can kind of rely on the possibility that Vegito is going to lose us some HP because uh, he is an int unit. And obviously we do want to try and transform Goku before we end up getting to the point where our um, HP gets so low that we then transform with the int uh, Vegito. So we've got to be careful about that as well. So let's go ahead and grab these. Um, I want to try and set up orbs ready for the next turn as well. So let's go ahead and grab those. So, Vegito should take pretty reasonable damage here, uh, especially if he gets super attacked. We shouldn't die, but he should take a pretty significant amount of damage if we get supered on him. So, double super from STR Vegito. STR Vegito, obviously still crazy good unit, even without a 200% leader skill. Uh, this is unfortunate, because they won't take like any damage from that. Yeah, 17k, basically nothing. Good old take the super, dodge the normal meme as well. Love to see that. <laughs> so how much are they going to take from normals from this Goku? Oh wow, like 7,000. So basically nothing. <laughs> so yeah, we really needed them to get super attacked if we wanted to uh, drop down low enough for Goku to transform. So that is the only downside with this uh, setup. Is that, like I say, Goku really needs to transform to work really well with Margin Vegeta, but we're just not in a situation where he's going to transform, unfortunately. So, we'll go ahead and do this. We don't get the six orbs, but he is getting his uh, extra defense and then the defense on super. So, he should be perfectly fine here. Um, Goku should be able to finish off the, uh, the setup here. But yeah, over 5 million attack stat for this rainbow friend, Marsha Vegeta. Goku is not his best link partner, and we're not below 88% HP. So, he doesn't have that extra attack buff. So... His attack stats, whilst they're not the craziest, they're not as low as, like, some people seem to want to make out for some reason. So, I do I do really, really like Marjan Vegeta. I have issues with his design, for sure. There's definitely some things that are a bit weird about his design, but I do think he is a very good unit. So, um, let's see here. So, we'll go ahead and do, do this. do this. Just going to connect these. Okay, no. Good times. So yeah, the floating Margin Vegeta is kind of dead weight on this team, um, unfortunately. But the Ozaru does deal some pretty decent damage. Uh, before Super Attack, he was able to damage Goku and Vegeta. Obviously, once they get off uh, at least two Supers they're doing now, he's probably not going to do any damage to them with normal attacks. But a Super would still do a reasonable amount of damage. And we are going to be able to transform um, Goku next turn. So, this is a perfect opportunity to transform him. We have the Azaru and then, of course, both the phases of Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I wonder if with the extra power that he's going to get from transforming, we are actually going to be able to uh, finish him off by then. Also, this is kind of a good setup, right? Because if we had slightly too much HP for Goku's active skill... We're able to use Margin Vegeta's active skill now, which was going to lose us some HP if we did use it. So that would obviously then allow us to get the transformation with Goku because we'd lose a big chunk of HP. So that is actually a very good tech for using them together, is if Margin Vegeta can take those hits early on, um, then his active skill is going to lose you some health, and then that's potentially going to put you into that zone to then get the... Um, to get the active skill for Goku as well. So I think what we want to do here, should we use the active skill against the giant ape? I think we probably just want to do, let's just do this. So we get the defense buff and we get the extra um, 
we get the super attack. So he's got 200k defense. Um, getting super attacked in slot 1 here would definitely not be ideal for him. But he does have the 30% uh, damage reduction because of uh, a Trunks being on the team. Even without getting those extra orbs. But once we actually get to super attack with him here, the defense raise that he gets is going to be uh, more than enough that we will live a super attack here from the Ozaru. So we're getting the Dokon attack with Martian Vegeta. He is at 6.3 million attack. So he's going to do some decent damage here. And then it's time for Super Saiyan 3 Goku to go off. So with no support, let's see what 8.3 million for Martian Vegeta. Wow. And then, yeah, Goku's at 5.1. So with the 70% chance to crit, he should finish him off here if we get the crit. There we go. 3.2 million. Very nice. And that's without support. So now we have that rotation set up and good to go. And we are on full HP now. Uh, we still have the fusion in the uh, back pocket with uh, the Int Vegito. So we are looking very, very good here. I'm going to go ahead and do this. And then... How do I get the... I want to try and get the best selection of these, like, orbs together here for Martian Vegeta next turn. Yeah, so we've only got five. Now, depending on what Goku does this turn, it is possible we could take some damage and then Martian Vegeta will orb change. But Because, yeah, this is pre-Super, so they will actually take damage from this. So, if this drops us low enough... The funny thing about this setup, right, is obviously with powerful teams, it can sometimes be difficult to lose HP. But with this team, not just for the Goku transformation, but also for Margin Vegeta's passive, we kind of don't want to be at full health, right? We want to be between that, like, 80 and 70% or a little bit lower, uh, like, bracket, basically all the time. So this Goku doing that damage to Goku and Vegeta in slot 1, we've still got over 400k HP. So, But this is going to trigger Margin Vegeta's orb changing and the extra damage. So now he's going to look really good in slot 1. Especially because we also got the uh, orb change as well. So all of these orbs have changed to in. So now we basically go back up to full health. Um, in fact, these greens should all connect as well. So, um, yeah. Super Saiyan 4 Goku is about to have a very bad time on this turn. Because <laughs> Majin Vegeta has his full passive, full damage reduction, has the full attack boost... So yeah, 6.3 million with no support linked up with this Goku. So very, very nice. Uh, 2.1 million, no crit, unfortunately. We could have used the active skill. So this should do very little damage. Yeah, that was, I don't think that was even double digits. So there you go. And then Goku's at 5 mil. Again, this is without support. This is the double margin Vegeta rotation. But what can Goku do here? Is he going to pop off? He is. So the first additional normal is a super attack. Can we get the quadruple super turn? Or can Goku, can Super Saiyan 4 Goku even survive that long? Okay, we get the normal. Ah, oh, and then we don't get the hidden potential one. That's unfortunate. <laughs> but double super from Goku, able to do a lot of damage in the one turn. And then my Majin Vegeta, unfortunately, is only 55%. So he's not doing anything uh, too crazy. But let's go ahead and do this. It's funny that we're not getting either of the fusions for the Vegito units as well. Because <laughs> we're just not dropping low enough to get the fusion with the STR one. Or the Int. I mean, the Int one we need to drop to 50% or below. So, Goku's going to have to, like, super attack Int Vegito or something in order for us to actually lose that much HP. But since we're going to finish him off this turn, and now we're moving on to uh, Tech Super Saiyan 4 Goku... Then, uh, yeah, we're probably not going to see either of the Vegitos come out in this run. But, hey, the video is about Goku and Majin Vegeta, so it is all good. So now we have the turn with support. Uh, we are on high enough health that we don't get Majin Vegeta's passive, though, which is a little bit unfortunate. But we are able to pick up six orbs. So you know what? Let's do it, right? we got to do it in, at least once. If we're doing a Majin Vegeta and Goku video together... We got to do Majin Vegeta's active skill. Even you, Kakarot, who's right there next to me in the rotation. So how much is this going to do? We don't have his extra attack because we weren't on low enough health. But hey, still 3.6 million. Then we take a hit to our health. 
but this means obviously uh, Vegeta gets guaranteed crits, which he doesn't really need on this turn, of course, because we have um, we're against the tech unit. But Goku's defense is 166k start of turn with support. Vegeta's uh, using his active skill counts as him supering for getting his defense from his passive, so he's at 350k. So, uh, yeah, things are looking pretty good on this turn. So I'm going to save those STR orbs there for uh, Vegito. I guess if Gohan takes a super in the last slot, we might actually be... Uh, well, we should be low, low enough to transform with STR Vegito next turn. But apparently Goku's just going to waste his super attack, super attacking Vegeta. So we take 66 damage. And... Uh, now Margin Vegeta and Goku are poised to clean up here with the support. So Margin Vegeta gets a guaranteed crit. So nice damage from him. Sadly no additional super. Gets the additional normal which would have been a guaranteed crit as well. And then time for Goku to uh, shine here with the support. He'll have the Kamehameha link as well. So 5.9. Then we get an additional and we go up to 6.4. <laughs> Stupid Goku with his dodge. I can't believe he dodged the first one. That's uh, very frustrating. But we get the crit. Additional normal on the second one. And then hidden potential. Let's go. The hidden potential one comes in. So just below 7 million. So Goku putting out a ton of damage. Do we get the crit on this one as well? We do. What a massive amount of damage that we just did. With uh, Margin Vegeta and uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So... Very, very good. Are we on low enough HP here? I think we might be. We are! Hooray! Alright, let's do it. Just because just because we can. Let's get the uh, get the fusion into STR Vegito. Because we're probably going to finish... With, well, there's no way we don't finish off um, Goku this turn. Unless he's supering in slot 1. He's probably just going to die from a uh, Vegito counter. But let's see how this goes. So, Super Vegito going to come in and close out the run here. Oh, wow, he's not supering this turn at all, apparently. So, um, you know what? I never get to see his 12 key super. So, let's do that. And then we'll give you all of these. And uh, not going to have to worry about Margin Vegeta. Because uh, he's not going to be alive by the end of the turn. So, there's the crit counter. And uh, it does a million damage. I guess before supering, obviously, his uh, attack is not as high. But the crit count is doing some nice damage. I do really like this uh, 12 key super attack animation for STR Vegito. Because he gets extra key so easy. You only really ever see it if he does an additional super attack. Because it's so easy to get his 18 key super. And then look at that. All three counters were crits. And Super Saiyan 4 Goku is out of here. So there you go. Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Margin Vegeta on a Margin Buu Saga team. Little bit wonky at the start until you can get the transformation for Goku. So I think you definitely want to bring key support and stuff like that around the team. Maybe have the other Margin Vegeta running on the other rotation so he's not floating. And then bring an extra support unit. But they work quite well together. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.